comrades and friends of labor. We bring you greetings from the center of everything, Central Bastia. We say a special good night to our comrades and friends of constituency number seven. The new constituency number seven. Labor women, good night to you. That's right. You know, we have made great strides as women on the labor. That is why the women say on the 16th of February is labor devoting because they have seen the opportunities for women, for girls, for your daughters, for your sisters, for your mothers to reach the very top. And so, going forward in this manifesto which we are launching this evening, we will see programs and strategies put in place to bridge the gap in income between men and women. We recognize that women need to be more financially independent because with 51% of the families headed by single women, then we know that they have to look after their families. And so we will strategize and come with plans and programs to ensure that they're expanding opportunities for women to increase their income in this new term coming up. Also, you'd notice that the subsidy for preschoolers it's for everybody, but it's something that will benefit women more because the children live with the women. And so when we say $25 per child per week, we know that this will greatly assist the women of this country. Labor is saying you must have increasing income in your pockets, and this will help even though in a small way to do that. Also, with respect to netball, which is our only women's sport, we need to have this sport revived. And we are saying that our young girls and the women must fall in line with what is happening internationally in that sport. If you look at your televisions recently, you would see there's something now called Fast Five in netball that you have international competitions about. This must be introduced right here in St. Kitts and Nevis. And we said to you that we commit to bringing in a coach and other technical assistance to ensure that netball, or only women's sport, is brought up to the top international level. So we are here for the women. And we would want to hear what the women themselves are saying. Back in the days, men use only men to do construction. Men will do carpentry. Men will be lawyers. But now we can see a woman has stand up and are more into the world. But you have lawyers that is females, construction females. So women are doing many things to show them that we are just a capable to say. It's not Because mostly you see like men shining. But now you see ladies coming, becoming lawyers because of the SIDF and they are providing businesses for ladies to become hairdressers and etc. So yeah, I think there's opportunities here for ladies to become out here in the world. Soon we are going to take over the men's spot and be ahead. Yeah, and that is why we are saying that we will also engage in leadership training for women, we'll introduce leadership in the education curriculum with a view towards ensuring that the next time around, we have more women up here participating and running for political office. Also, in this new manifesto, we will take health to a higher level. We're taking health to a new level. Recently in the World Bank statistics, you'd notice that when they were rating health systems in the Caribbean, including Cuba, St. Kitts and Nevis was rated highly. In fact, 
We were second in terms of the lowest infant debts and first in terms of the percentage of GDP spent on health. But we are saying that with expanding opportunities and ensuring that we keep in line with our vision of becoming the first small island sustainable state that we need to take health to a high level. And so you'll see in this new term, a new hospital that will be built. In this new hospital, you will realize that some of the gaps that we have now, for example, cancer, the use of MRI will be addressed. And so it will be providing more spaces for persons who seek hemodialysis, will also have more opportunities for persons who want to have intensive care. Patients on intensive care will have greater numbers of them in a new hospital that will offer more effective and a higher rate of health care in this country. And so health will be taken to a higher level in this new term. The next five years, we will see health also taken to a new level. And so I want to say to you, on the 16th, vote for Labour. We will take this country to a new level. And we want to say to you that on the 16th, you will vote on fair boundaries. And so the other side, they're still waiting for the court. They're living by the court, and they're going to die by the court. They're still waiting for the court, they say. They're waiting for Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever that means. But we know that on the 16th, we will await the voice of the people. Because we know that the people are on our side. And so we ask you, on the 16th, to go out in your numbers. Make sure that you tell your neighbor to vote for labor on the 16th. Go out and vote for yourselves. Vote for your children's future. Vote to keep Senkit and Nevis number one. Vote labor. Thank you. Love you. Good night.